Hello everyone. I wanted to read you another book by the author Kevin Henkes. I read Old Bear and we've read a lot of his books in class. This is one of the books that he wrote that is my favorite. It's about birds. And if you know me well, you know that I love birds. It's illustrated by Laura Drunzik. Here's the front cover. One, two, three birds on a branch. And here's the back cover. One, two, three birds on a branch. Three plus three equals six. And it says birds on the back too. And it says it on the spine of the book. Birds, birds, birds. Birds by Kevin Henkes. Birds. And here are some lovely cherry blossoms. If you've been out walking around with your families, or maybe even looked out your window, you've probably seen cherry blossoms. They're one of the signs of spring you can look for. Birds. On this page here, we see this bird. This is one of my favorite birds. That is called a stellar jay. It has like a little blue mohawk. When I moved to Washington, I was so excited to see that bird because I had never seen it before. <laughs> In the morning, I hear birds singing through the open window. This is a robin. You can tell it's a robin because it has that red chest there. Birds can be yellow or blue or brown or red or even green, I think. I wonder where you could find a green bird. Do you know where a lot of really tropical, different colored birds are? In the jungles, yeah. Sometimes they are so black that you can't see their eyes or their feathers, just their shape. You think of a bird that's all black that we have a lot of in Seattle? A crow, yep, a crow. Birds can be big or little or any size in between. Once I saw seven birds on a telephone wire. They didn't move and they didn't move and they didn't move. I looked away for just one second and they were gone. If birds made marks with their tail feathers when they flew, think of what the sky would look like. Think about if you could dip all those tails in paint and then let them go and see all the different designs they would make in the sky. If clouds were birds, the sky would look like this, or this. So this is probably sunset, right? With the sun going down over the water. And then this is nighttime. Sleeping birdies. Sometimes in winter, a bird in a tree looks like one red leaf left over. Down up here. That might be a cardinal. If there are lots of birds in one tree and they all fly away at the same time, it looks like the tree yelled, surprise. If I were a bird, I'd ask where all the other birds go when it's stormy and they can't get home to their nests. Do you ever wonder that? 
and all of a sudden it rains and it's stormy and all the birds just disappear. I wonder where they go. I like to pretend I'm a bird. I can't really fly, but I can do this. I can sing. Thanks for joining me today for one of my favorite books.